Hello, my name is uh, Joost Sane, and I work as a cloud team lead at a company called Cloud Legends. And Cloud Legends is powered by Kabisa. It's uh, kind of the cloud and DevOps department of Kabisa. Um, Kabisa is a fast-growing software consultancy company specialized in software development and cloud. And at Kabisa, we pay much attention about personal development. So for uh, those efforts, uh, we have been awarded of the best Dutch employee of the year for uh, already six years in a row. So as you can see on the picture, I also like running, which is, not, which is another passion of me. Um, well, I think that's enough for advertising. Uh, first, a question to the audience. Um, who hates contact switching? Yeah, I was thinking that, a lot of hands. Okay, uh, today I want to tell, uh, tell a bit about the biggest culprit of productivity and how to avoid this as much as, much as possible in, within your team. Um, well, it was not hard to find blog posts or articles about uh, context switching because uh, productivity is still a hot topic uh, for us as uh, knowledge workers. So um, I'm a team lead of a managed services team and we have a bi-weekly retrospective and every time the same topic arises, it was about uh, context switching uh, of a high number of context switches which caused stress. So, uh, I was thinking, why do we expect people to work well if they are being interrupted all day at the office? It's pretty insane. So, um, I once uh, read a book from Gerald uh, Wein, uh, Weinberg. He's an American computer scientist who passed away a few years ago. And in his book called uh, Software, uh, Quality Software Management, uh, Gerald shared his famous estimation about the effective costs of uh, context switching. And in short, it was about this. By focusing on one project, you can spend 100% uh, of your time, right? But when you, uh, you begin to switch uh, between projects, you suddenly lose a lot of efficiency. So according to his theory, uh, we lose about 20% productivity when we switch between two projects, and we lose 40% when we uh, switch between three projects and approximately 75% when we switch between five projects or tasks. So you, you really want to avoid context switching as much as possible within your team. So uh, what is our situation at Kabisa? Uh, firstly, we have a, man a multidisciplinary managed services team. Uh, um, divided into two areas of knowledge. So, so on one hand, we, so one part of the team, we have DevOps engineers specialized in mainly cloud, AWS, and Kubernetes. And on the other hand, we have uh, colleagues who are specialized in software development, development focused on Java, Python, and Ruby. And our managed services team is, is the, uh, the hub of the organization. So a lot of requests, questions uh, will enter our team. And because uh, we are a managed services team, we have to deal with planned and unplanned uh, work. And this could, be, this could be difficult sometimes. So how can we accomplish to get, get things done, uh, deliver on time, and be also handled to uh, uh, be able to handle unplanned incidents, for instance. Um, so, yeah, what, we, what did we do to prevent people to get overworked and, and but make them happy instead? Um, and also important, how keep keep them as much productive as possible. Well, uh, we introduced uh, the flock, and the flock is a very simple solution. Uh, it's, 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 it was maybe so simple that we, with, that we overlooked it at the company. So I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the concept of flock could, could help maybe other people in this room. So uh, hopefully uh, these 10 minutes make it worth for you. Um, yeah, flock means first line of contact. The flock uh, is a person and he or she is the first line of contact for customers and colleagues. Uh, it's a dedicated role within the team. 
And uh, in our team, there is a rule of having two flocks a day. So we have uh, one flock which, which, which is uh, we specialize in DevOps, and the other flock of the day is specialized in software development. And another important thing is that the flock is a shared responsibility. This means that everyone in the team uh, gets a turn. And when you are flock, then, then it's your job of the day. So, so you get time for it to do it. Um, uh, Customer-related flock uh, activities are, are financed by our SLAs, by our uh, server level agreements we have uh, with our customers. So, uh, yeah, a flock, or, or better, two flocks, uh, keep, uh, keeps the doctor away. But how should we arrange this? Yeah, automation is, is really a key, key here. Um, so rule number one is keep it, keep it very simple. Um, during our sprint planning, we, we plan the flock for the coming sprint with the whole team. And as you can see on the slide, uh, we use uh, Google Calendar for this. And uh, this calendar is, is, is input for all other automations. So every communication tool we use connects to that agenda with, via the Google uh, Calendar API. So, for instance, uh, our dashboard, which uh, hangs on the, on the wall at the office, as you can see in the example, this day, uh, 14th of Ju June, we had two flocks in state of readiness. So everyone in our office knew uh, who to contact for support-related questions. Um, at Cloud Legends and Kabisa, Slack is our uh, main chat tool. So everyone is using Slack. So uh, we've also created a connection between Slack and its previous uh, the Google agenda, which I showed you pre in the previous slide. So, uh, and during the onboarding process of employees, we, uh, we tell every new colleague to use at flock instead of at person name uh, when asking for help. So only the flock will get a notification. Um, and, and they are the only people in the team uh, which get, uh, will be interrupted. But uh, yeah, they don't bother that much because they have their planned interruption day, so no problem at all. Um, so what about our customers? Uh, what if they grab the phone and, uh, and, and give us a call? Uh, we applied basically the same concept of telephony. So we have a public support number and we have a, 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 a SaaS telephone system. And this system has an integrated API. So according to who is in the Google Calendar, we'll receive the phone call on their cell phone. And for all other requests, we create tickets automatically. This could be any type of request. Uh, think of monitoring alarms, security vulnerabilities from GitHub. Uh, customer request, Nagios alarm, etc. So all requests will be thrown in the funnel. So in that matter, the flock is a very uh, reactive role. He just waits till something comes in, right? Um, so when a ticket or a request comes in, it appears uh, on our flock planning Kanban board. Yeah, because of the time constraint, I, I won't go into details of Kanban, but it's a it's an agile framework. So. The, the flock has to answer himself one important question. Should we do it now? And we have created some guidelines to, to make that question easier to answer, like uh, do the customer have an SLA? Or is it something the flock can do in uh, less than two minutes? Because then it's probably better to do it immediately, otherwise processing will cost you more time. Um, if the request is urgent, then the flock escalates the ticket and arranges with the team that it will be picked up as soon as possible. So, and if not, the flock is responsible for uh, the refinement of the ticket. So we need to describe the, the problem, the, the solution, and the definition of done. And after that, he needs to process it and put it on our Kanban board so it can be picked up uh, yeah, when the time is right. So that, yeah, that was my lightning talk of today. Um, if you need more information uh, about the flock or how to implement it uh, in your team, uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, you can find me uh, during the break or at the coffee bar. Thanks for your attention. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.